It was well known. It was abundant at at uh, several different dive sites, and um, it had been looked for extensively in the zones and places where it had been. Like I said, we always start start with the last place it was seen, and so um, scientists had been looking there for obviously you know, 40, 40 some years, um, trying to locate this coral species, and it was thought to be extinct. Um, you know, there was there were conversations on whether it should be declared, um, which is a lengthy process. But um, the mesophotic divers, the rebreather divers had been to one of those sites last year. And obviously, they were diving deeper. Um, they were at 65 meters. And they were taking video, not thinking to look for this coral. Why would you look for it? It doesn't live there. It's a shallow water coral. So, but they were taking video and back in the lab, everyone was kind of looking at the video and someone was like, Hey, stop. There's, there's a Wellington's coral there. And everyone was like, no, that's impossible. And they looked at the video and looked at it again and said, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the coral that everyone has been looking for. And so, um, we went back sent them back to the same location, the same site, and they were able to locate and con- uh, and definitively say for sure that it is the Wellington's stony coral 